Hi, I'm Lynn Hall from the communications team at Rotherham Doncaster and Southumbria NHS Foundation Trust and I'm here today to speak to Jodie Keegan. Okay, so I was in a really high risk domestic abuse relationship. Um, I was uh, from, with my ex-husband and that was 12 years we were together. So after the conviction I needed to have mental health support because I couldn't do it during the court case. Um, so straight afterwards, uh, it was 2018, but I had my first out of um, mental health input I had CBT uh, and that lady was a lady called Fatima who was really good and she was giving me different tools to um, I had lots of phobias things with like rolling pins cars music um, and it was how to can't go get over those fears so I literally did that one so I did my stint with that and um, mindfulness I learned and then I, I had to go back in during the pandemic as well because I found that that was really stemming my mental health during the um, COVID-19 pandemic. Yeah. And then I had uh, I had to go back again. So I keep going back to these, but they are great service. And uh, that was due with bereavement of my dad. Yeah. So, and um, I had trauma as well because I kept thinking that I was going to die as well. And I think that was from the pandemic. So mm. I was needing therapy for that. Um, with being on my own with three children, um, I was wanting to make sure that uh, there's no one else for looking after him. So I had this whole fear of something happening to me. So even when I was driving, I was scared driving in case I was in a car accident. And I'd always feel that something... My life was kind of very much like the film Final Destination. I'd always try and... I was risk assessing absolutely everything, every single thing I did, which became extremely exhausting. Um, and it just got crazy and I knew that I needed help. Then again, this year again, I had another breakdown. So I manage my mental health. I know it's never going to go away because I have severe uh, PTSD, uh, severe anxiety and depression. Um, but I, you just got to manage it. And I know that, like I say, it will never go away, but you manage it. And I was learning the, the tools and the skills for doing that. Yeah. So yeah. All of your mental health needs obviously stem from lived experience. Yeah, and what trauma. You've, what you've gone through. Yeah, a lot of trauma, yes. So how did you find out about our service? It was through my GP. And uh, so they had me all ready for going after the court case. And then I found them fabulous. Uh, yeah, I get that there was a wait time, uh, but it's well worth it in the end. So it, what did you do during your CBT course? What skills did you learn? It was more coping mechanisms and what to do. And if something like um, having to just, I find distraction helps me a lot. Uh, music helps me a lot. Um, I always try and, if I'm having like a really stressful, hard day, I always try and finish it where there's something that I enjoy. So I always try and a lot of self care. Uh, as hard as it is but finding that time and finding a creative outlook as well and an output you know for having that so I enjoy like gardening I'm trying to grow my own herbs and um, different things like that um, and sounds daft but baking and things all sorts of just doing anything creative drawing as well that's good and also the main thing as well what I do find was great was uh, my three children at various ages have mental health problems uh, due to the trauma that we all experienced as a family and also with the pandemic the tools that I learn I've used for helping my children so that's been great and for helping others and I found that it's been a massive skill that I've learned and I can everything that I learned I help my children with and it's really really good the people are so friendly. I mean, uh, we did. I did all by video, pretty much, apart from uh, with my first bit where it was in person. The video was great. It was no different to when I was actually, you know, seeing them in the room. So it was, was it MS Teams that you was on? It, yeah, it was Teams, yeah. and uh, trying to work all that out. But yeah, it was great. Uh, I used to really look forward to my appointments. Uh, I got on really well with Cherie Powell, who was my lady, and. It was great. Uh, it would look forward to my meetings. And it's really, Cherie was absolutely fantastic, really friendly. And she inspired me to do training. So I'd like to now, I've been doing um, some courses on mental health, like children's mental health, adult. I want to do the counselling. And I want to work in mental health. That's something I'd love to do. Uh, and especially from my lived experience for helping people. 
and especially around trauma, around domestic abuse, so be and um, mental health, because mental health is so so important. Yeah, and people don't understand how bad it is until they've gone through it. Yeah. And it's not just a case of you're having a bad day; you can't function. It's you. You it's just you have a miserable life. You can't function, but there's light at the end of the tunnel, and just stick with it. So, for anybody watching this video who was going through similar yeah. trauma, what would you say to them? Definitely stick with mental health. Put the, um, it's so important. You've gone through absolutely horrendous trauma. It's like being in a war when you've gone through like domestic abuse or even other kind of traumas. And always be kind to yourself. Never see, I'm always honest about my mental health. Be honest. I never see it as a bad thing. Yeah. I find it as a creative thing. I try and take any negative into a positive. And you're just special. And I think that the most fabulous people are people who have mental health issues. I think they're absolutely amazingly creative, uh, really friendly, great people. And there is a lot of stigma with mental health because people just think negative things. And it's not. You should be really proud of every single thing that you achieve because it's so, so hard. And I really identify with people who struggle. Yeah. So I just find it great. And... They're my favourite kind of people to be around as well, so it's really, really good. But what, just never give up. And what would you say about accessing services? Oh, it's just great. You know, um, just bear with it because, yeah, like I say, there's a lot of, there's sometimes there's waiting lists, but there is waiting lists for everything, especially with the pandemic. But the great and the people you meet are fabulous and it will definitely improve your life as well for the better. And just never give up because it is so important your mental health and you've just got to make sure that it's, it's definitely paramount you don't realize because it's an invisible illness people don't understand it but I, I totally understand people with mental health issues and but i say they're absolutely fabulous people thank you not a we problem at really all really appreciate this interview and, thank you and good luck with your career oh wonderful thank you so much that's really kind of you thank you